Welcome to What's Happening. I'm your host, Paula Hersey, and today we're sitting with two guests, Maggie French and Kathy Robinson. How are you today? Good. Good. There's a really cool couple of workshops and an information session coming up for women, mostly? Yes. Yes, and it's through WeCan, um, which is a great organization uh, right here in Harwich. Uh, WeCan empowers women to really take charge of their own lives and to grow, uh, both personally and professionally. So we've got two different types of things. First, what I'm going to do is have you introduce yourself so people know who you are, and then we'll talk a little bit about what you're, what you're going to offer for some workshops for some folks this fall. Maggie. Tell us, who are, I know who you are, but who are you? <laughs> who am I? Who is Maggie French? Um, I'm Maggie French. I'm an ICF coach and for the last five years have been working with WeCan uh, in a program called From Surviving to Thriving and that's why I'm here and I facilitate the program. Okay, excellent. How about you, Kathy? Hi. I know you too. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm Kathy Robbins yeah. and I'm a psychotherapist and a life coach. Okay. And. Um, I have a private practice in Yarmouth Port, and I just love the WeCan organization. If I want, if I give my time, that's who I want to give my time to. And I took Maggie's class last year. Uh, Andy had asked me if I would be interested in doing a class, and she said, "Go, go to Maggie's class and see it. It was okay. fabulous. It was Great. absolutely fabulous, and it just made me realize how wonderful these groups are. I mean, I've been I've been doing groups for 25 years, and I got a, a lot out of Maggie's group. So. Okay. I'd like to see it be offered to more women on the Cape. That's great. And these two different workshops are probably different, but there may be some similarities. Um, one specifically, um, there's never a lot of just women workshops where we really look at the issues that affect women, um, sometimes self-esteem, confidence, but also working professionally, getting out. Maybe they're just divorced. They could be just, uh, maybe they've been laid off. So there's lots of different things that women face differently than the general population of men, per se. So the two programs, Surviving, uh, from surviving, to, th thriving. From surviving to Thriving, Maggie, and then uh, Design Your Life, which sounds great. <laughs> um, there's an information center session that's coming up on September 1st. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, as both of these are eight-week, uh, they're both eight, correct? Yes. Eight-week eight workshops. We want people who are interested to know that it's an eight-week commitment. Um, mine will be on Wednesday nights, yours or? Mine will be on Thursday Thursday nights, nights from six okay. to eight. And so the informational session is one to explain the commitment to them and to see which one better suits them because um, I'm excited about having uh, Kathy join in doing this because I call this um, Personal Development 102. What I do is 101, and that as we as we evolve as women, what comes next? And so I think Kathy's workshop is going to be great at the next step of it. So the informational workshop or session will explain the two, so people can have a choice. And it's great that we can now as a choice of workshops. Right, and that you know um, being. In the fall, finally, we're, we're, we're looking towards, you know, getting back to business, <laughs> really, is, is what it yes. is. The, you know, the, the locals here, have, you know, we're, we're, we, we've had our beach time. We're, we're looking now to really, it's almost like a new year for us. It's a renewed sense. You know, September rolls around. Everybody's like, oh, you know, we, let's do some things. Six to eight weeks is a pretty long commitment for a workshop. Yes, it is. Um, yes, it is. Uh, however, in the five years that I've done the program, the one consistent sentence that almost everybody says is we wish it were longer, which says a lot and I, I'm very honored by the people that want to do, want to go on longer. Right. So that eight weeks, um, so it'll start the end of September and go till just before Thanksgiving. Okay. It's just enough uh, between the support that women give to each other as well right. as their own personal development. It's a um, I gain something every time I do it. Great. So the information 
session is going to be Tuesday, September 1st at the Howard Community Center. Great venue. 7.30 to uh, 5.30 to 7. Mm -hmm. um, yes. We'll have that information on the screen as well. So you go to the information session and you're going to learn about each of these workshops. So Kathy, tell me a little bit about Design Your Life. The, the mm -hmm. title intrigues me. Design Your Life. It's really the idea f that that we create what we want in our lives. And what I have discovered is people spend more time designing their outfits and their kitchen than they do their lives. True. And so it's, it's really this idea of give some time to thinking about what, what you want your life to be. Right. And th that's really why I named it that. So do you accessorize? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I, I use, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using uh, morning pages. Have you ever heard of that? It's, I have not. It's, it's, there's a lot of journaling. Okay. And um, it's about getting, we're each, what I feel is each woman is so unique, you know, and it really is, I think that this is about have, helping women find their truth and their beauty, their own truth, their own beauty, right. and then bringing it forward to the world. And that yeah. takes some time, when you were saying eight weeks. The, if, you, if, if you can walk away with something really solid after eight weeks. I think right. shorter than that, you, we're just skimming the surface oftentimes. Right. You really need to make an eight week commitment to design your life and to really get to, it, get to what it is that you really want for yourself and what you want to bring to the world. So who's kind of the target here? Is it somebody who maybe thinking that they're stuck in a rut and might want to do something different with their life? Is it somebody that's kind of floundering? Um, you know, who's, who would, would want to take this workshop? I think anybody that's, that, that has that urge to make a change in their life, okay. anybody that has an urge, it doesn't really matter where you are. You know, I've had women that are, one woman said to me that her dream was to have a dream. And I thought, wow. And then there was someone else that was, had a dream and, and went forward with her business plan. Okay. And so it doesn't matter. You know, it's very personalized. Yeah. It's very unique to each person that's involved in it, I think. So anywhere along the, along the path right. where you're willing to change, as long as you're committed to evolving and growing and changing. I think That's either fantastic. one of our workshops would be great. And then from surviving to thriving, don't we do that every day? <laughs> <laughs> Maggie? Well, um, that's the whole point. Are, right. you, are you approaching life from a surviving standpoint or a thriving standpoint? But there's an in-between point. And I would say all of us, myself included, have gone through a stage in life where you're surviving. Uh, I was thinking of it this morning, like, what am I going to talk about? And the first time I was in survival mode, I was about 25, was up to here in debt and lost my job. Ah! Mm. And so you switch gears and get into surviving mode to get through that. But what happens at the end is that, okay, what do I do now? And what happens more often than not is you switch into another surviving gear and stop thinking about designing a life. So what from surviving to thriving does is give you that in-between moment of pause. The, oh, nice way to put that. Yeah. The, biggest, the biggest thing that I ask everyone to do is bring their playfulness. Because until you reopen your mind to possibilities, you just keep surviving. So when you shift from your brain set, from your perspective to that of thriving, the world looks very different. So for eight weeks we play. We play with what's important to me. I think that's another aspect. We women have this tendency to think of everybody else before ourselves. Okay. Um, and um, that if we begin to think about ourselves, we are selfish. Right. Um, so I had, um, I had a participant that came up with a new word that I use and it's called, this is an opportunity for you to be self-full. Isn't ah, that nice? It so, is. I love that. Mm -hmm. And so spend time with yourself and dream big dreams again, like going up in a hot air balloon. Yeah. <laughs> and then the biggest challenge we all have is we might have dreams, we might have thought about ourselves, but then we don't necessarily use all our energy. So this also helps you to learn how to use your energy in a positive way. 
And you'll need to shut me up because I can talk <laughs> about this forever. Well, no, but again, mm -hmm. you know, this, this information center, uh, uh, information session coming up on September 1st, people are going to have the opportunity to question the both of you yes. about yes. these programs yes. and really learn yes. more which one's going to be right for them Absolutely. based on where they are in their own lives. Correct. So, you know, once that information session is over, they can make a decision of which workshop that they want. And Absolutely. from surviving to thriving is going to start on September 30th, which yes. is great. Let's get the kids back to school. Let's get the husband out of the house. <laughs> or, you know, yeah. I mean, let's just get our lives back from the summer, which is so hectic here on the Cape. And then Design Your Life starts on October 8th. So we're yes. right at, at that time that we're all looking for something that just before the holidays start, we, you know, that whole madness there mm -hmm. is that we can get ourselves back on balance. Yep. Does that yep. make and sense? If I can add here, for any, um, any woman who is raising children right now and thinks, I'd love to do that, but, dot, 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 um, we can, we'll reimburse you for childcare. <gasps> My yes. goodness, so, isn't that wonderful? Yes. We love We Can. Yes, we all it's great do here. Yeah. Yes. Um, but just note that uh, you will need to hire your and pay, but right. uh, We Can will reimburse you. So yeah. just note that. Yes, right. that's a great right. point. And I also just wanted to point out that my workshop is going to be in West Barnstable, and oh, Maggie's yeah. is going to be in Howard. And okay. there's been a lot of requests that there'd be more programs in the Barnstable, sure. Hyannis area. So mm -hmm. that might be a consideration because right. I think the workshops, there's a lot of similarities. Yes. Right. M more similarities than differences, actually. Yep. But, you know, Maggie, d we each have our own f fingerprint, you know, and I bring right. it, something to it, and Maggie brings what she brings to it. But Yeah, I do it, like to see that back in the Barnstable. We don't have a lot of those types of workshops up in yes. that area sometimes, and then we see them, especially because We Can is based mm -hmm. in Harwich, we see a lot of that in the, yeah. yes. the lower Cape, uh, then we do that. So do you know where it's going to be held it's in It's going to be in the West Barnstable Community Center. Oh, right, yeah. I love that little building there, yeah. right off of 149. So it's yep really convenient for anybody from that part of the exactly part of the Cape six to eight weeks so you know I mean let's make a commitment to make ourselves whole and and get something kind of for ourselves right yeah, absolutely and, and I also think that don't do life alone that's what I want to say to the women on Cape Cod right. you know join in you know there's something very powerful about being with a group of women right. designing your life, hearing about what they're designing for their lives. It triggers ideas for you. And you don't have to do it alone. I think that's right. really an important message that I, why I like doing the group work. Now these are limited sessions too, so it's not like you're gonna be in a room with a hundred people here. It, there's, there's small intimate sessions, right? Um, as this is, um Kathy's first year, I, I forget what number you had limited to. I, I, I said somewhere between 15 and 20. Yeah. I think any bigger 20, than 30. that is too big. And okay. I limit mine to 15. Okay. Um, there's, you, you move less away from the interaction and support that Kathy was talking about because to anyone else listening to this, that's, uh, you'll be amazed at how much support you'll give each other because yes. every woman, whether she thinks of it or not, has something to give another individual. And we all like doing that, and you will gain something from the women that you work with. And for 15 work, let's say it's worked for me for the last five years. So, well, it's funny. Any any time I get together with a group of women, their perception of me is so much stronger than my own perception sometimes. Yes. And and yeah. you come out of, of a, even just you know a, a meal or or a get together with girlfriends, and you're like, yeah, I'm a woman. I'm so cool. <laughs> yeah, and I've in in the workshops that I do, I design an alliance with the members of the workshop and one of the things is that nobody gets to be wrong and right. everyone is naturally creative resourceful and whole you know that we're coming to these workshops whole not with the idea of we're, we all have issues you know I don't care where we are in our journey but we also have this real whole place and if we can come from that place going forward it's amazing what can happen so here's the million dollar question how much is this going to cost um, absolutely nothing. Nothing. Can These workshops it? are free. Yes. So, and you it's know, a tremendous value. I mean, I do right? these workshops professionally, and, you know, they're at least $500. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, right. 
when we can said would you be willing to do one free for the women on Cape Cod I said absolutely because I do think that there are women that are in a position that aren't able to afford those $500 right. for for a workshop like this so isn't it great I love it I love being able and then to give back for child care if you have yeah. kids I mean you know this community um, literally from the tip of the Cape to the bottom of the Cape really comes together for its own and the women especially so it's a free workshop there's two of them you can decide which one because you're going to get an information session with both of them that have you know a little bit of difference but you can decide which one's yes. going to be the best for you they're in two very centrally located locations and you know what? What better to do? Yes. What's not to love? What's right? not to love? Exactly. <laughs> Come and have fun. So the two personal development programs, the information se session is going to be September 1st, Harwich Community Center, 5.30 to 7 p.m. And we're going to highlight in that session from surviving to thriving and new, which is Kathy's, design your life, uh, surviving to thriving. From Surviving to Thriving will start September 30th in Harwich Correct. on Wednesday evenings and Design Your Life will be in Barnstable Route 149 at the Community Building on Thursday evenings starting on October 8th. Yes. Maggie, Kathy, wonderful to see you both thank you and so thank, thank you, you for so having us. much for doing this for our community. It's wonderful that you're offering these services, seriously, because there's not enough people out there that do this, and we thank you. Well, you're welcome, but no, that I'll speak for myself like we can. Um, we all can be at a place of needing to be with other women at any point in time. So I'm in a place to do what I do, and someday I'll be in a different place. So It's my pleasure. I think that's what I want to add. It really is a privilege to be doing this and looking forward to it. Great, thank you. Thank you. I'm Paula Hersey and this is What's Happening. <laughs>